Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to see you here and today I have another exciting video for you. As you can see from the title, I am going to be... <laughs> Hello! As you can see from the title, I am going to show you five Valentine's Day outfit ideas. I have always loved uh, Valentine's Day, whether I am in a relationship or not, and I think it's a great way to celebrate love and we should always celebrate love, there is never enough love in our lives. Actually where I'm from we also call Valentine's Day uh, Friends Day, so if you are single don't feel left out, we all have friends and go and meet up with your friends and you can still wear one of these outfits that I suggest to you here. But yeah, I think without further ado, let's go and get started with the video. Let's see what I would wear this year for Valentine's Day and hopefully you can get inspired from it. Alright, so let's start with the look number one and I'm really leaning into this typical like Valentine's Day romantic look. Start with the small details first. I have these really beautiful golden earring and I recently got this headband and I think it complements with the color really well. Easy hairstyle that you don't really have to do a lot of effort for but it looks cute. On top I have this red turtleneck with uh, some golden details as well so I think it fits the overall vibe well. And let me go a bit further away and I have added this black and white mini skirt. It's like a pleated, a little bit thicker material, so it's perfect for winter because where I am in Germany it's still really cold. I have paired it with some black tights and black thigh-high boots. Comfortable, it's like romantic, it's cute, it's feminine, but uh, yeah, and I think it fits the occasion well. Um, so yeah, def this is definitely gonna be like one of my top contenders straight away but yeah let's move on to the outfit number two and let's see if anything is going to beat this outfit all right let's move on to outfit number two and as you can see from the top already it is something totally different from my last look let me take a few steps back so i'm wearing a black dress actually with this beautiful beautiful front tool details of course this is for a fancier valentine's date night it is a body contrast yeah this is of course for a Valentine's date when you're going to a fancier place, when you really know that you're gonna go to celebrate to a really nice restaurant. But um, I love dressing up and my motto this year is definitely to dress up for more occasions because Germany tends to be very casual and I definitely went along with that route but I want to change that. I love dressing up so whatever the occasion is I'm going to dress up. I love the same earrings as I have. I have still the red lipstick because I think it fits really well. I also paired it again with black tights just so it doesn't look so short. It kind of looks seamless. And I paired it as well with black heels. So it's all black outfit but I think you can really spice it up with details. And I chose to put my hair away this time because I want the whole attention to be on the top of course. I wore it once to like a work event and you cannot imagine the amount of compliments that I got so this is definitely a showstopper. And if you don't, cannot find a dress maybe you have something similar as a top and you can wear it with black pants or a black skirt so I think it's definitely you know, up to interpretation. This is just uh, inspiration for you girls. I'm happy with this look. I'm not sure we're gonna go to something that fancy this year but if we are this is definitely a really good contender for me. Let's move on to the next outfit though. All right, let's move on to the outfit number three and it has another different and beautiful neckline. I absolutely love this dress. It is like this wine color. From the waist down, it is actually very flowy. It is super comfortable and I think it is also really flattering. You can just wear a normal strapless bra and you're gonna feel, you know, totally comfy. And this is an outfit that I think fits for a lot of different occasions. You can wear it for a dressier occasion, but you can also wear it to a more casual event. I think this one is a very, very flattering. It's very classy. Like I said, I've had this dress for many years and I'm still gonna wear it for many years because it's just very timeless and I think it's never gonna go out of style. 
and I feel very feminine in it. It fits for winter, it fits for summer, spring, autumn, anything honestly. The only thing is that I would change the lip color maybe to the one that fits more with this dress. I think the red is a little bit clashy but for the purpose of this video I think it's still good for the demonstrations because my red lipstick is still gonna be fine for other outfits. Let's move on to the outfit number four because it's again an exciting one. All right, outfit number four must be my favorite outfit right now because it is super comfortable, it's really versatile, you can also wear it to work, I could have easily included it in my work outfits. So you might think that this is just a basic white shirt, but it has a little bit of a twist because you can wrap around here and you can create a bow tie. Of course there are many different ways to wrap it, but I normally like to accentuate my waist so it kind of gives me a little bit more of a shape. And it's a very nice twist on a normal white shirt. And I've rolled my sleeves up, the shirt is a little bit wrinkly, but I kind of don't mind it because it's, it doesn't have to be this perfectly structured shirt, it's a little bit of a different detail. And let me take a few steps back, I've paired it with these red dressy pants. They are tight pants, but I think it fits because it has a good balance between tight and a looser top. But I think the combination of this bright red and bright white is really beautiful with the red lipstick. Again, some simple accessories. In my opinion, with accessories, less is always more. You can add a red bag or something, but you know, I think this is a great outfit that you can wear for going out to a restaurant if you're just gonna stay at home but again keep this in mind also for other occasions and not only valentine's day i'm absolutely loving it and i think i might actually wear something like this to valentine's day this year let me know what you think of this outfit and let's move on to the final outfit of the video all right we have finally gotten to the outfit number five and this one is also one of my favorites of all time underneath i have just a basic black dress you can have many different styles it doesn't really matter in this case mine is a bit more flowy and on top here i have this beautiful kind of crop top this beautiful lace it's not quite white it's more like a beigey color but I think the combination is really interesting. It's something different and again, I find it quite classy, feminine. It is very comfortable and you can wear it for so many different occasions. I think it fits perfectly for Valentine's Day as well. Add some heels, red lipstick, you know, a red bag or something and you're ready to go. Even if you cannot buy, of course, this same combination, I think there are really a lot of similar things out on the market right now. You can find a crop top, you can only use this top with, again, jeans or high waist pants. I think this also would look great. It's really making my decision for picking one outfit really, really hard. But yeah, let me know, again, your thoughts down below. And uh, let's go to my closing thoughts. So we have reached the end of the video. These were my five outfits that I am thinking to wear this year. Follow me on Instagram if you want to know what I ended up wearing for our date night. Hopefully there is a date night. Yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. If you felt inspired, if you liked any of the videos, comment down below on which are your favorites and if you're gonna recreate any of them. Again, enjoy the Valentine's Day. I feel like it's a holiday for all of us. Celebrate love and uh, take care. I will see you again next week in another video.